The IBM Cambridge Scientific Centre was a company research laboratory established in February 1964 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, situated at 545 Technology Square, Tech Square in the same building as MIT's Project Mac. It was later renamed the IBM Scientific Centre. It is most notable for creating the CP40 and the control program portions of CP, CMS, a virtual machine operating system developed for the IBM System, 360-67. History The IBM Data Processing Division DPD sponsored five scientific center research groups in the United States and some others around the world to work with selected universities on a variety of customer related projects. The IBM Research Division in Yorktown Heights, NY was a separate laboratory organization at the Thomas J. Watson Research Center that tended more to pure research topics. The DPD scientific centers in the late 1960s were located in Palo Alto, California, Houston, Texas, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Grenoble, France. The IBM Time Life Programming Center in Manhattan, New York worked with the scientific centers but had a slightly different reporting line. Established by Norm Rasmussen, the Cambridge Scientific Center worked with computing groups at both MIT and Harvard, in the same building as Project Mac and the IBM Boston Programming Center. BPC. Additional joint projects involved the MIT Lincoln Laboratory on the outskirts of Boston and Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. The Scientific Center in 1969 had three main departments computer graphics under Craig Johnson, operations research under John Harmon, and operating systems under Richard Rip Palmley. In December 1975, Richard McKinnon became director of the center, succeeding Dr. William Timlake, who, in turn, had succeeded Rasmussen. As the third director, McKinnon was to serve as its longest tenured director. During his tenure, Cambridge Scientific Center was responsible for a number of enhancements to the VM-370 operating system which became IBM's most popular interactive computing system. These included, an enhanced scheduler for the operating system based on the work of Lynn Wheeler, the so-called VNET networking capability based upon the work of Edson Hendrick and Tim Hartman, multiprocessor support for the IBM asymmetric MPs, led by Howard Holly, IBM's first Unix system under VM for the National Security Agency, a remote operations capability for VM led by Love C. Wright and David Baloka and done in conjunction with the University of Maine, or Rono, and which spread throughout IBM's processor lines, a special controller which allowed ASCII terminals to access VM done in conjunction with Yale University Comp Center and its director, Graydon Freeman, and the ASCII software support for the IBM PC which allowed PCs to access IBM and many other non-IBM mainframes the work of Jim Perchik. The VNET networking software became the basis for IBM's internal corporate data network which had over 3,000 IBM processor nodes and the University BitNet network which was facilitated by Cambridge in conjunction with Yale Computer Center Gray Freeman and CUNY Computer Center Ira Fuchs. McKinnon served at Cambridge for 18 years and in July 1992 had the unenviable responsibility of closing CSC when IBM decided to close all its scientific centers worldwide. IBM closed the center on July 31, 1992. <laughs> Selected publications R.J. Adair, R.U. Bales, L.W. Comu, and R.J. Creasy, "...a virtual machine system for the 360-40ths." IBM Corporation, Cambridge Scientific Centre, Report No. 320-2007 May 1966. R. A. Meyer and L. H. C. Wright, "...a virtual machine time-sharing system." IBM Systems Journal 9, No. 3, 199-218 1970. R. P. Palmley, T. L. Peterson, C. C. Tillman, and D. J. Hatfield, "...virtual storage and virtual machine concepts." IBM Systems Journal 11, No. 2, 99-130 1972. E. C. Hendricks and T. C. Hartman, "...Evolution of a Virtual Machine Subsystem", IBM Systems Journal 18, No. 1, 111-142 1979. L. H. Holly, R. P. Palmley, C. A. Salisbury, and D. N. Saul, "...VM, 370 Asymmetric Multiprocessing." IBM Systems Journal 18, No. 1, 47-70 1979. L. H. C. Wright and R. A. McKinnon, 
VM 370A study of multiplicity and usefulness. IBM Systems Journal 18, number 1, 4 to 17, 1979. RJ Creasy, The Origin of the VM 370 Time Sharing System. IBM Journal of Research and Development 25, number 5, 483 to 490, September 1981. F.T. Kazoo, D.L. Livingston, and T.C. Spillman. System, 370 Capability in a Desktop Computer. IBM Systems Journal 23, No. 3, 245 254. Y. Bard. The VM Performance Planning Facility. Computer Measurement Group Transactions 53, 53 59. Summer 1986. See also IBM Research